Cancer, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a little Valentine's Day week reading for you for the week of February 9th through February 15th. All right, so this reading is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to use, I'm using my cards today, all right, and this is about who's ever in your energy, okay, who's ever romantically in your energy so it could be somebody that you've been dating somebody that you are married to somebody that just has an interest in you okay chances are for most this will be somebody that you know and that you have dealt with in some way okay three more doing one for each so this is how your person sees the situation this is how your person feels this is how your person sees any issue between the two of you, okay? All right, and then we'll clarify with tarot, all right? All right, Cancer, let's see. What do we have? First card here, ego breakdown event. Okay, so... Your person has some memory of something you said or something you did that really impacted them, okay? That broke them down as far as their ego is concerned. You know, you might have, and this could even be something that happened around you or happened in front of them that really kind of cut them down, cut them down to their core. Like they couldn't, it's like they almost couldn't say anything because they either saw you in a brand new light or they saw you being stronger than they expected. They saw you in some way that I feel like completely completely change the situation. This might be something that you can think back to and you're aware of, or it might be something that you're completely unaware of. But there was an event that happened in some way that was extremely impactful to them and really had an impact maybe on their, their pride, on their status, on you know how they view themselves, how they see themselves around you, it was impactful. It was impactful in some way. All right, and you can see the number five. It changed them. It changed them for the better in some way, okay? This might be something you're aware of. It might be something that you're not aware of. All right, so what do we have here? Unspoken feelings. So, Whatever happened here could have could have uh, awakened them in some way or could have brought these unspoken feelings that they have for you to the forefront and really, really made an impact on them. Okay, it feels like, you know, we're looking at this right now as this is their energy right now when it comes to you. 
So what are these unspoken feelings that this person has for you? Do you feel like you know or do you feel like you're in the dark here? Think back. Think back to when you were around this person or the last time you were around this person or maybe the last thing that you said to this person. I feel like it was impactful. All right, so what do we have here? All my time is dedicated to someone else to someone else's dream. So what is that saying? That's saying that this person, okay, this is the, the raw ego speaks deck, all right? All of my time is dedicated to someone else's dream. I feel like this person may feel confined. This person may feel in some way like they're not living their own dream. You might know this about this person they might be stuck doing something that they don't want to be doing for a living and it's impacting you know the overall relationship here you know this person might be this could be tied to this an ego breakdown event you know, maybe you see in this person, you see all of the potential this person has and they're not living up to their potential. Maybe that was something that you told this person at some point. But I feel like something that's going on in their physical world might be preventing romance to flourish between the two of you in its full glory because this person isn't living up to their own dreams, isn't living their own dreams. And this might be a huge diversion in the connection. What do we have here? Only say it if it's nice, necessary, or true. So, you know, this card can relate to unspoken feelings in some way. You know, but that's true for everybody. You know, only saying something if it's nice, if it's necessary, or if it's true. If you live by that, it's it really helps all of your connections, all of your relationships. Um, you might have said something to this person that was very true and very necessary, but it might not have felt very nice to this person. You know, and that's, that happens a lot, right? I mean, sometimes, you know, we feel like we have to give people tough love. I almost feel like this is a situation where you might have felt like you had to give this person tough love in some way. And sometimes, you know, that's a good thing for people. Sometimes it's not. What do we have here? Jealous. This person is either jealous of you, okay, in some way, or they're jealous of possibly somebody else that is around you. They might be jealous because they might see you working on or living your dream. I feel like this is at the core for this for your person that they aren't living their dream that they would be much happier much more involved in romance or much more involved in a relationship if they were living their own dream and it's really frustrating maybe to you that you can see that this person has so much more potential than what they're living up to. Maybe you fell for this person's potential. And then we have currently in separation. So the two of you may not be together right now. I feel like it was probably your choice. Something you said 
or did had a huge impact on this person, I feel like in a very positive way. I feel like it forced them to really look at some feelings they have for you that they may not have ever spoken to you. Not only are they looking more deeply at the relationship or the connection, they're really looking at themselves. I feel like ultimately this could have empowered your person to do better for themselves, which is a good thing. This might, might apply to you. This might apply to your person. Only say it if it's nice, necessary, or true. So there's something I feel like that was said that might have stung, that might have hurt, but somebody found it to be necessary and or true. This person here is very much either jealous of your success, jealous of where you're at in life, or jealous of somebody else that's around you. And <clears throat> for whatever reason, the two of you aren't together right now. All right, so let's see. All right, so let's clarify the ego breakdown event the unspoken feelings and the jealous card. And let's clarify this one too. What do we have here? We've got Knight of Wands. Okay. Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, that's card of Sagittarius. So you might be dealing with Sagittarius. Um, you know, I feel like this, your person here might have gone in and out with you. You know, sometimes they were fully present with you and passionate with you, and sometimes they were the opposite. They weren't engaged. And something you might have said about that really impacted them. What do we have here for unspoken feelings? Emperor, card of Aries. You know, this. there's a lot of fire energy here. You might be um, dealing with a fire sign. This unspoken feelings with the emperor... This is the only, I feel like this is the only way this person has uh, or feels like they have control is to keep their feelings or their deepest feelings to themselves. Emperor is definitely about control and structure and authority. You know, I feel like this person is hanging on by a thread or feels like they're hanging on by a thread when it comes to you. I feel like they're afraid of this. Let's see. Let's keep going. Two of Wands. So, you know, Two of Wands is almost the opposite energy of the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is flighty, is flirty, is, you know, can be considered a player. Two of Wands knows what they want. So I feel like you communicated something to this person you know, saying, look, this is what's okay with me. This is what, you know, what I expect. This is what I want. And if you don't, you know what? Get on the boat and go. This is saying that you, you told this person very clearly at some point what it is that you want. Jealous, look at this, Empress. This person, okay, we, something significant here. We have the Empress and we have the Emperor. That tells me that this is a divine connection. So, the, you know, we've got the, the divine masculine here and we've got the divine feminine. And this has been a challenging connection or relationship 
for both of you. Okay, and for the masculine, I feel like unspoken feelings are at the heart of this. And I feel like with the Empress, you know, this Divine Masculine sees you as beautiful, as nurturing, as giving. But they also see you as not folding. You know, they see you, they see your strength. They see the strength in your femininity if you are the feminine. Now, this can also mean that this masculine sees you as the ideal, uh, ideal feminine or ideal partner, okay? I feel like both of you feel that deep connection, feel that ideal situation that has potential between the two of you, but you're currently in separation and I feel like whoever this person is, is realizing that they're not dedicating their time to what their dreams are in life, but they're dedicating their time to building somebody else's dream. And you might have awakened this person, truly, you might have awakened this person to realize, why am I doing this? You might have come into this person's life to give them that recognition, like why on earth am I devoting all of my time to somebody else's dream when it doesn't satisfy me emotionally at all. This person might see you as very successful and doing exactly what they wish they could do. You might be living your dream, whether you're a masculine or a feminine, okay? And the way you're living your life, I feel like, has given rise to this person to realize that they can do a lot more in their life and they can give a lot more in their life as well. Let's get a card for this here. Five of Wands. This person is, this person's in a state of flux right now. You know, they don't know where they stand with you because the two of you are more than likely in some type of separation. But I still feel like the deep feelings are here. It's like we're just not looking at them closely right now. Five of Wands says this person doesn't know exactly where they stand with you and they don't know where they stand in their life either. So you can see the correlation between the connection with you and the connection within their own life. It's real easy to be in the Knight of Wands energy, which is no commitment. You might have said something about knowing what you want, knowing what you want to commit to. And that's part of the lesson, possibly for your person, is to, you can't give 100% to something that, you know, you, that isn't part of your dream in life. And it's the same thing with a connection. You can't give 100% to a relationship that you're, you know, you're really not committed to. So I feel like this person is really redefining what they want to commit to. And that could be the reason for this separation. Even if you're talking periodically, I don't feel like you're in a deep, relationship as it stands right now. All right, so let's get a couple of cards for for Valentine's Day this week. What energy is your person in for Valentine's Day this week? Whoops, we'll take that card since it fell. All right, let's see. Valentine's Day week. What do we have here? Breathless, taken, and moved. So 
I almost feel like this card applies over here a little bit. Like whatever major event happened between the two of you, it left this person feeling breathless. I feel like their heart is taken by you, okay? And this person is still moved when they think of you. Very much so. This person feels very connected to you. Feels very connected to you this week. What do we have here? The team. Group think, leader emerges. Results. So we have similar colors here. Okay, these, I feel like this person is in a fairly calm energy this week. Okay, we've got all the blues and purples. Um, what does the team mean? The team could, I feel, speak to what we just talked about, right? The team is the two of you, but the team is also, I feel like, this per relates to this person's work. This person is realizing that maybe groupthink isn't for them. All right, so in other words, going along to get along may not be working for them. They might be doing that. They might be going along to get along, you know, within a, a job or in a situation in some, way, in some ways. And by rejecting groupthink, the leader in this person, emperor, the leader, the divine masculine is emerging and results are starting to happen for this person. I feel like the correlation here, again, I feel like you came into this person's life for a reason and it was to allow this person to emerge as a leader in some way, not only in their, you know, in their job or in what they do in life, but a leader as a divine masculine. This is a divine connection. This is a divine connection without a doubt. Okay, so you are very important when it comes to this person's growth. But I feel like when this person returns, okay, if you want them to return, okay, or even in or around Valentine's Day, they have a new energy about them. You know, they take on that, they take on their masculine role, which is to be a leader, to take action, to pursue the feminine. Even if they got a nudge from you by saying, this is what I'll accept and this is what I won't accept. And if you did that, good for you. Okay, that's owning you know, what you want in life. You know, and if this person, you know, flies through life with making no commitments, Knight of Wands, that creates a lot of discontentment. It's like, know what you want. Figure out what you want. All right? And I do feel that this person is experiencing these unspoken feelings, some deep emotion here, and they're also realizing that they don't have to be part of the team, whatever the team is at work, but it helps them to move towards the two of you as the team, which I feel like is what this is all about, is creating that solid team between divine feminine and divine masculine, whoever you happen to be, whatever role you happen to play, okay? All right, Cancer, that is what I have for you for Valentine's Day week. Um, more than likely, I'll probably try to get out um, a couple more readings this week, but if you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, you can certainly reach out to me. If not, no worries. Um, I will talk to you next time. All right. Have a very happy Valentine's Day and be safe. All right. Bye.